Hello, I'm Susan Finarelli, Director of Communications. I'm responsible for the Office of Communications, or OCOM, and Falls Church Community Television, or FCC TV. OCOM is a two-person shop. We are responsible for all internal and external communications for the city. This includes the 26 departments and divisions, the 20 boards and commissions, task forces, and all the events, programs, and services that go with it. OCOM is unique in that we are the only locality in Northern Virginia to have the communications team also serve as public information officers for the police department. We are on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week, ready to respond to any emergency, including crimes, road closures, weather events, and even worldwide pandemics. The main highlight of our budget this year is on the city manager's unfunded needs list. Back in 2011, a third OCOM position was eliminated as part of citywide budget cuts due to the recession. At that point, the city had 100 followers on Facebook and no Twitter account. Since then, the 24-hour news cycle, ever-changing social media logarithms, and the need for increased engagement with residents and business owners have created no shortage of work. A third person on the OCOM team could help us with projects like increasing awareness of community policing and capital improvements projects, concentrating on marketing strategies for recreation and parks and economic development, and having more help in emergency communications. We really appreciate the City Council for considering our need for a third OCOM employee. Now on to FCC TV. This past winter was very exciting as the studio was moved into the new high school. We now have a much more visible space in the school, and we're looking forward to even more students and the public discovering what we can do. FCC TV will continue to produce all the meetings you know and love, City Council, Planning Commission, and School Board, along with town halls and special videos for the government and schools. You may have seen the high school ribbon cutting feature, which earned senior video specialist Michael Tim Payne high praise. This year, FCC TV will fill the existing open position for videographer that's been on hold due to the pandemic. We also plan to complete the conversion to HD and continue to train and educate members of the public who want to become producers through the Cable Access Corporation. And that's it from OCOM and FCC TV. Thank you for your time.